video will be talking about the types of cell injury especially we'll be focusing and comparing reversible versus irreversible injury so due to environmental changes or toxic ex uh, toxic chemical exposure there could be injury of the cell and when we talk about the types of injury we have to think that there are specific organs which are highly susceptible to the injury like mitochondria er nucleus and membrane and we would be discussing the context of reversible and irreversible injury keeping in these organelles in mind so that there could be two consequences of injury one the cell try to adapt to the stress and regain its own physiology or function another thing is like more extreme solution it's basically cell death a non-functional cell would be eventually dying so cell injury happens due to stress there are multiple adaptation strategies like hypertrophy hyperplasia atrophy metaplasia etc so all these adaptation strategy is covered in details in other video in the i button click on that but anyway when the cell undergoes injury there could be two types of injury reversible and irreversible if the injury is reversible it would be uh, regaining its function eventually when the stressor is removed if the injury is irreversible then it might undergo necrosis apoptosis or other kind of like non-repairable damages we would try to understand that part so let's talk about reversible injury let's see what microscopically has changed in an injured cell so basically the first thing that uh, is altered is the atp production atp production happens in the mitochondria which is the powerhouse of the cell and when the atp production is low all the biochemical pathway that is required for a proper functionality of the cell would be compromised that means overall cellular function is compromised second thing is basically the activity of calcium or sodium potassium ion exchange pump would be decreasing and this is a passive after effect because all of these channels most of the cases requires atp or energy for its functioning if atp is low these functions are suboptimal there could be other kind of manifestations that could be microscopically seen that is like ribosomal or polysomal detachment from the endoplasmic reticulum so generally there are a lot of these ribosomes attached on the endoplasmic reticulum the rough one and they are they are the protein uh, forming machinery so when they detach and move freely on the uh, cytosol the translation is altered moreover protein synthesis uh, decreases overall in these injured cells also there are several changes in the plasma membrane could be observed there could be alteration in the lipid composition there could be blebbing of the membrane and many other things one of the prominent microscopic feature is the nuclear changes so basically the chromatin becomes clumped so overall all these cellular level changes lead to compromisation of the cellular function it's important to note that one can observe the myelin figures in the uh, cytosol so these are aggregated uh, peroxidized lipids uh, which are originated from the damaged um, mitochondria or the endoplasmic reticulum now let's talk about the reversible injury uh, irreversible injury and in this case the nuclear degradation happens means not only condensation but the nucleus gets uh, basically totally degraded the nuclear material the dna or rna is uh, totally degraded by the endonuclease activity so there is rupture of lysosome that means leakage of the acid hydrolases into the cytosol there is plasma membrane damage there is mitochondrial permeability problems membrane potential is lost atp production is comp compromised and all that possibly lead to cell death like let's say apoptosis or necrosis so basically the membrane integrity could also get compromised so that might lead to the cell death in this context we should understand that there are different changes happens in the nuclear level so one can understand this is a normal nucleus then there is nuclear condensation known as pycnosis nuclear fragmentation known as karyorexis and nuclear dissolution known as karyolysis so these could be occurring at different stages of the damage depending on how intense the damage is and another hallmark of all this kind of damage is the alteration in mitochondria so mitochondrial function is severely compromised in irreversible injury there are amorphous densities and inclusion bodies found in mitochondria mitochondrial 
poor forming complex or MPTP actually lead to several things to be leaked into the cytosol, mitochondrial membrane potential, which is important for the ATP production and the electron transport chain. That entire potential is lost or dissipated. That's what, that, that is why ATP production is highly compromised in those mitochondria. So I hope that gives you an idea about the irreversible injury. And here is a very quick summary, summary of the irreversible and reversible injury. So if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.